Okay, here we go, holy ones. Much respect to all of those blessed ones finding their spiritual journey, their spiritual awakening. And I thank all of you for sharing your Saturday night with us as we talk about angels and fallen angels. You would say light versus darkness, evil, some people would say. And so this is something that we talk about from the inner Christos point of view, which is the um, Emerald Order teachings, also called the Law of One. And so we respect all beliefs and religions. We're unity. So we, we are get along with anybody's belief. And so, but just let you know that the point of view about angels and archangels is going to be from the inner crystals. And we're going to talk about how it's connected to our spirituality and how angels and archangels are levels of consciousness. Okay, so we are spiritual beings that go inside the body. So we're a spirit having a human experience and we reincarnate into this vehicle for the spirit okay so our true identity is the soul or the consciousness the soul consciousness that comes into the incarnate body so realize an angel consciousness can go into a body and so we'll be explaining that in detail tonight. And uh, this is a spiritual warfare, as the name of the title suggests. Uh, we're going to be talking about that as well, because it is, after all, angels versus the ones who chose with their free will to fall. Let me check and make sure everything's set up. And I'll light my candle and my incense. My chiwa. Looks like we... Everything's good to go, right, you guys? Please let me know in the comments, somebody, if you can hear me okay, everything's all right. Um, let me get this started. Just for, you know, the energy, for the protection, for the spirit. Same with incense. We like incense resins for protection, especially when you're talking about spiritual war, <laughs> right? Mochiwa Makaya Sutas. My light language. That's good. We'll let that um, finish and we'll put some resin. This is like a little grill. <laughs> and we'll put um, energies on this grill that are positive and protective. And I'll say hi to everyone. I just want to get this started. I want this uh, energy in the in the space, right? In my aura, in my space, in my consciousness. Oh, yes. Here's some copal, and we're also going to have amber resin, and a little bit of bloodstone. Why not? I use these. Uh, Mortar and pestles, you know, to, pestle is to break it up, but this is the mortar and it's fire, it's heat proof, so you won't burn yourself. The bigger the better, like this is my main one. Okay, so I don't feel any heat. I don't have to worry about burning my hands. This might feel a little bit warmer, but it still protects you. And I, I keep my dragon blood in here. Dragon's blood resin. All right, just need some amber now. And um, I do this with you guys. This is uh, something that we're uh, on a journey, okay, together and learning together. There was 44? Thank you for sure now. <laughs> I claim that because uh, we benefit together with that energy. We're doing this together. It's a community effort, okay? It's Team Indigo, give me five bottles. And so, uh, this warfare, this spiritual warfare, is a team effort, okay? We're not, you know, 
excited to be in spiritual war, but realize that um, this is part of the angelic and archangelic consciousness bringing in. I mean, we knew what we were in for when we got here, right? <laughs> Let me say hi to everybody coming in. We have Zico, Frico, Machiwa, Holy One. <laughs> That's a cool name. Abyssia Josie, 2415. Much love, Holy One. Thank you for being here. A great attendance, right? Celine, my sister. Machiwa, dear. And thank you for your positive comments on my Instagram. And I, I didn't know you had such some cool posts. So you guys check out Celine, too. She's got some great... Uh, pictures and she's celeb she's sharing and we all share in in social media <laughs> our vibes what is your vibes right brc 46 and 2 gratings holy one thank you for those positive energies we have criminal activity hey holy one Rage xx muffin in the house from cali no less welcome sister big hugs to you thank you for being here Mr. William 25, hello, Holy Ones. Sending lots of love from Andromeda. Thank you, Mr. William, for bringing that Andromedan energy. Peace to you. <laughs> Gaia's daughter, hello, Holy One. I bought the Voyager's books? Whoa! I hope you do know that you don't need to buy them because uh, you can get the free PDFs, right? You knew that, right? I hope you did. I hope that was a, you knew that. And some people want a physical copy, but congratulations, that's a great gift. Um, if there's any books that I would have on my bookshelf, you're gonna definitely see Voyagers. I have Voyagers 1, Voyagers 2, Angelic Realities. That's a small book, but it's definitely um, awesome to have all the resources. The rest of Ashiana's work is in workshops, videos, and PDF manuals. And so, not the same as a book, but it at least a lot of the information is in these, um, you know, you can download them to any device. <laughs> Great to hear that, Mr. William. And I, I'm the same way. I prefer to have both, a physical copy and a PDF if I can find it. Because a PDF, I'm always in front of my computer and I can make notes, I can highlight, I can um, do control F and find something. You, you can't do control F in a book. Okay, so there's a huge difference there. So <laughs> when it comes to studying, I prefer to study with the PDF. So thank you, guys, daughter. I appreciate the um, confirmation. Thank you so much. Because I've had things, problems in the past. I used to have a lot of internet problems in the past. We're doing better. <laughs> Indigo Wizard. Yeah, some people are scalping the books. Thank you, brother. Good to see you, brother. And you guys, those are my moderators, Indigo Wizard and Celine. And sometimes Starman pops in and, and uh, oh, we have little aliens, so. Wow, yeah, Celine's good at printing and she's even done some of the Cathara teachings in her own handwriting. And you guys, think about that. That's a feedback loop, right? You, you're looking at something, writing it, drawing it. You're adding that understanding more deeper into yourself. It's all about energy. So um, those little details matter. 40-year-old <laughs> dork in the house. <laughs> Sunset Dreams, 888. Fabio, welcome, you guys. Blessing to all of you who are joining us and... Um, this should be an interesting live. We talk about all kinds of things on this channel. This is mostly a spiritual channel about spiritual awakening and ascension. I have a, a paid membership that you can join. Especially, I want to make reference to the Emerald Order tier. Because there's a couple of tiers. And the best one is is anything from Emerald Order and up. Because I'm, I am I just started the regular daily. Every day I'm going to try to post... A couple of articles one or two three articles a day on the emerald order teachings and so i'm starting with basic stuff don't worry i'll get to the heavy stuff too but i think you should be armed with the basics 
And uh, there's so much to say about consciousness, so much to say about God, about the uh, time matrix. There's so many um, things about healing. So this is what this channel is about. Inner Christos, Law of One, Emerald Order. Mikilzadek, Cloister, Emerald Order, Vatos. Yes, activations. You said it, Indigo, brother. All right, Jason. Good, good idea. Let's talk about the angels and archangels. And so this is from the inner order perspective. You will find out that angels is a level of consciousness of what we would perceive as extraterrestrials and other dimensions of reality. So while the Bible and religions talk about a heaven, okay, just realize the Bible's about this thick, a ah, thousand seven hundred pages. You know, 1,700 pages, somewhere around this, depending on the print size and all that. It can't fit everything about angels and reality. Okay? So, there's more. Maybe God didn't talk about everything in that book, in that 1,700-page book. There's more to talk about. Maybe there should be a part two, a part three, because there's more. Maybe there should be an encyclopedia. There's certainly more about angels and archangels. And so we talk about, first of all, 15 dimensional time matrix. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And angels are about right here. Out of all of this, they're about, eh, about here. Archangels are about here. So you see, there's more greater consciousness than an archangel. There's liquid light. Avatar beings. Have you ever heard of an avatar? Not uh, a video game character avatar, but a consciousness, an avatar consciousness. We have angel consciousness. Well, first, let's start with the human level, the earth level. It's called the incarnate consciousness. Okay? And then we have, I'll be showing the diagram tonight to explain some of this, but we have above the archangel. I'm sorry, incarnate level, we have the angel level, soul level, which is part of that is the celestial. And like we have physical, you know, matter, well, we have celestial matter consciousness. And that's where we get the angels from. So remember, 15 dimensions. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth level what the guardians would call the sixth dimension out of 15 dimensions is the celestial dimension, AKA angel. So these beings would have greater consciousness, a more perfected, not perfected yet, but a more perfected body. Yes, angels have bodies, but they're less dense than carbon matter. You hear of this term carbon matter for our universe, carbon matter universe, okay, in density one, dimensions one, two, and three, that's the carbon matter. Dimensions four, five, and six, that's crystal carbon. A more refined density, a less dense matter form, less atoms. You can imagine it as being less atoms, less particles. And so their body is less dense, less densified, less physical. Ghost-like, like a, you know, a half, you would say, um, almost transparent, <laughs> you know, almost able to put your hand through this body's, this being's body, okay? So these beings are much different than us. And uh, at this level, the angel level, the soul level, these beings are immortal, and I think most even religious people would consider angels as being immortal, don't dying like we do, but we agree with that, okay? Angels do are immortal at that level. Everything above the, the fourth dimension, not everything, I would say most consciousness, most races, ET races, most angels are immortal, most, not all, okay? So, but to a certain point, yes, all beings will be immortal, until some evil being, fallen angel, or demon would murder or kill you. But biologically speaking, when it comes to aging, 
you won't have to worry about aging anymore. You will have a youthful appearance, okay? And so, and, and so many things are different at that level because we think of earth, but there's more than just earth. There's a greater earth because earth ascends. You ascend, brothers and sisters, but so does the planet ascend to a greater level that is crystal carbon, which has crystal carbon life forms, crystal carbon beings. So technically speaking, all beings, <laughs> all beings from the sixth dimension are angels. Whether you're negative or positive, you're in crystal matter, six dimensional celestial density matter. All celestial density matter beings are considered angels, positive or negative. And so this is, remember I said one, two, three, four, five, six out of 15. Seven, eight, and nine, that's the third density matter, the third universe, that is crystal silicate matter. No, there's no more carbon. Okay, so these beings would be 100% less dense than we are. It's twice as less dense, um, where it's no longer defined as a body. It's more of a consciousness life form without the body. And I've seen these levels. I've seen these beings as, uh, you would say, collectives. At that point, it's like a, a gestalt of consciousness. Okay? I've seen them up there, negative and positive. Um, it's a spiritual warfare that goes all the way. We'll explain that in more detail, but it goes all the way up to the 11th dimension. Okay? There's a lot of distortions in the New Age channeling movement. Um, a lot of people believe everything after the lower astral is love and light. You couldn't be further from the truth. You're not even close. Uh, fourth, out of this, it's, no, there's more. Everything from the first dimension all the way up to the 11th dimension. That's not all the way up to the 15th. That's 11th, 12, 13, 14, 15. So all the way up to the 11th dimension is dark. Let me show you on this diagram where you will see the difference between phantom consciousness and light, or those who are part of the living universe. Um, I, I just need to open it diagram up in my Photoshop. And you guys, this is a, a teaching tool, a studying tool called the 15 dimensional time matrix. I have a link below. And I would like to ask Celine, please post the link to my diagram that goes to Patreon. Thank you, sister. Uh, here, here we go. Let me, one second here. Because the, it, it, it doesn't just talk about angels. It, there's a whole bunch of information from this diagram. Okay, so let me uh, switch it over to that for you guys to see. No, it's not showing it yet. Okay. Oh, it, it, I got this thing opening in photos instead of photoshopped. <laughs> All right. That should do it. Now I can turn it over to you guys. Or... Yeah. All right. It's showing my whole screen. I don't want it to, but whatever. Let me at least minimize. Uh, maybe, why, why is it doing this? Let me see if I can minimize this. I just, no, it's not going to let me. No, it's not going to let me do it. So whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so this is the 15 dimensional time matrix. And... I will help me to explain angels a little bit. And I just mentioned the 15 dimensions. These are 15, the 15 dimensions. Notice the Templar or the chakras. These are 15 chakras, 15 dimensions. I'm going to make a video about that too. And so remember I told you the sixth out of 15 is the celestial level, the soul level, the angel level. They're way in the future to us compared to 2024 in the 
density universe one, also called harmonic universe one, well, these beings are at least 39,000 years in the future. And so this is part of your Templar. This is part of your consciousness. You exist in the sixth dimension. You exist in the fifth dimension and the fourth. And here now you're embodied in the third. But you also existed in the, as part of your consciousness is as a plant or animal or elemental, fairy, brownie, sprite. Uh, part of your consciousness is a subatomic particle, quark, you know, uh, proton, neutron. Uh, you're part of these uh, components because co God composes everything, all of this. So you're a human consciousness, but you're also an astral consciousness right now, in the now, not a past life, not a future life, but a simultaneous life. So part of you is an astral being, part of you is an archetype being, and part of you is an angel, and so on and so on. This is consciousness, not just some beings in heaven or hell. So I wanted to show what is called hell or phantom, and that's where the fallen beings are coming from. It's called the phantom matrix anomaly by the guardians, which is a black hole system, sub-time distortion cycle what religions call the bottomless pit. It's a location of fallen angelic ET races. That's what angels are. They're consciousness. They're uh, beings from other planets, other worlds. There's, we talk about all these different beings living in these systems. Okay, these are all kinds of different beings in all the different dimensions. Remember, you can get this diagram for your own study. Only $15 is definitely worth it, you guys. All I've had is positive comments about this diagram. So, uh, there's fallen angels, malevolent extraterrestrials. Some of you are familiar with the reptilians. You're familiar probably with the Anunnaki, okay? The Anu, Anu Elohim. These are angels and fallen angels. So uh, there's two things going on in the creation. It's called a hologram of matter. It's God's creation. God created it. It's purposely. God designed it to be polarized. So it's a particle universe, but also an antiparticle universe. Base magnetic vibration, base electric oscillation. This is a spiritual science. And so we talk about all these races. Okay, we make videos about them. Um, check them out. Do a search on uh, Anunnaki on my channel. Do a search on Nephilim. I just made a video today about the Nephilim. Um, they're, they're a hybrid race because they're part human. Hello, Egyptian is human. And part Anunnaki. Um, even the Bible talks about them. Not accurately, but we talk about them as being from a... Well, the Retains were a million years ago. The Nephilim were even farther than that. Okay, so this is a, a spiritual war, you guys. Um, whether we want to just live in peace and love or not, uh, hello, you, you have the part of these teachings to talk to you about the darkness so, it, so you can no longer be controlled by it. If you ignore it, if you ignore the fallen angels and say, I'm not going to put my mind there. I'm not going to think about those things. Well, nobody, who's going to heal them? Who's going to love them? Oh, Omni love is loving all. You don't ignore the darkness. You don't be clueless about the darkness. You become educated and learn about the darkness. It doesn't mean you become dark. That's ridiculous. You are living in, in Christ consciousness. You're living in, let me switch it back. You, you are choose with your free will to to be light okay there's fake light so let's be uh specific <laughs> the real light is unconditional you love all even the dark beings you realize that they need healing if your if your kid was acting evil and uh, burning stuff uh, burning cats or dogs or doing something wicked you wouldn't stop loving the being. Maybe some parents would. Okay? It's the same with fallen angels. You don't stop loving them. They're part of creation. As a matter of fact, your starseed, 
indigo child, not the same thing, but same team, realize that you came into here to help heal these beings. Uh, we talk about the universal trinity, blue flame, gold flame, violet flame. If you're coming under blue flame, you're a starseed indigo coming from the blue flame, you're meant to help the fallen angelic Anunnaki. If you're coming from the gold flame races, those are reptilian races, dragon races, bird races, mantis and insectoid races, um, dinosaur races, uh, these are races that if you're coming from there and you're a starseed, you're meant to help heal them. We love all the beings, even the fallen beings. That is what true unity consciousness is. Christ consciousness. Okay? And so, this is our teaching from the unity of Emerald Order teachings. They're called the freedom teachings because they free you from the false creeds that plague our, our planet and our human race. We're in spiritual bondage. We're following false creeds and false religions, false teachings. Even in the New Age channeling movement, uh, they, it's a movement created by fallen angels. Uh, there's fallen angels in Galactic Federation. There's fallen angels in Archangel Michael. We'll be talking more about L, Mike L, Gabriel L, Ariel L. Uh, dude. Okay. Let's do this together. I have to open another browser window. Mm. Give me one second, guys, because it's important. Because a lot of people are, are worshiping these Elohim angels. They're L angels. Did you notice? Did you not pick that up? Okay, I'm just doing a search and okay, this thing didn't want to answer me. So let me use Google search. Okay, it's not cooperating, so I'll use Google search. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. Um, maybe some of you know all the angels. I think I have some notes about it. Why don't I pull up the old notes I have? Um, Angel. I have Michael, Gabriel, Ariel, Raphael, you guys can put some of them in the comments if you know them. Ragiel, oh, there's a being called Emmanuel, Sariel, Ramiel, Israel, Superman, Ka isn't Superman in there? Uh, what's his name? Kael, a reference. You will see fallen angelic references. What is Diana? Diana is one of those angels, Artemis, Diana, Wonder Woman, um, Thor's a fallen angel. Uh, well, Toth is a fallen angel. Enoch is a fallen angel. Uh, these are beings that are pretending to be light. They tell you they're light. They tell you they're serving God. They tell you they are God. They're, uh, they're saying, worship me as God. So this is uh, the battle that we're in. Let me see. I'm sure some other ones have mentioned it. I'm just dealing with different windows. Give me a second. Uriel. Yeah, so there's a Greek and Roman versions. Ariel, Uriel. Um, someone's Miska said Kanyo. Kanyo. Interesting. I didn't know that. But he, they... They spell it with a K though. Okay, let me type that in the What is Superman's name from the movie? K 
Cal, K-A-L-E-L. And let me add that to my notes. I thought it was already in my notes. And they call, they call him a god. If you look at the old comic books, they didn't talk about him being a god or an alien, really. But this is 2024, and, and you're supposed to be worshiping these beings. They want you to worship Michael. Okay? You think it's a good being. And then maybe this is the first time you're hearing that, well, gee, what's up with, I thought Michael was a good being. He's, you know, the main angel. And Lucifer was the fallen angel. So, yeah, you guys, we talk about Lucifer. The morning star. Um, I saw a company called Morning Star. Very interesting choice of names, right? So we have a yeah, you guys. I won't be smoking. Um, I'm 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 taking a break for a week at least, probably long more. So, but you guys get lit. Uh, I just need to clear up my system. So, but yeah, welcome to this channel as we talk about. The different angels and a lot of people, hey, we're not hating on your language, on your religion, on your beliefs. And uh, if it's important to you to worship an angel like Archangel Michael, um, let me tell you from the inner crystal's point of view. And I can even show that on PDF. Also, you know how religious people, they give Bible verses? Well, we, we, we will give reference from our books. Like our friend today, our brother today said he, he, from Andromeda, said that he just bought the book. And I will tell you what page number it's on. Um, Voyagers 2 PDF. Okay, so let me show it to you guys so you can see it yourself. And, and a lot of people think I'm making this stuff up. I'm not making it up. Uh, this is part of the Emerald or Teachings, which is a huge body of information. Look, this is 595 pages just in this book alone. So we let me make sure you can see it in the window. Let me F5 this. And uh, you will see what really is Archangel Michael. 111, put that in chat. I claim that. And we'll talk about Satan and Jesus too. Let me... Um, Michael. I just have to put the word Michael in the PDF. You'll find 18 results for Michael in the Emerald Order teachings. The first result. <laughs> okay, so you can see it nice and clear, right? Um, Archangel Michael, in quotes, because it's not an angel that you're thinking, is actually what's called a Nephite plus a Nephilim, plus a Necromaton, Anunnaki, extraterrestrial hybrid, who are not coming from Earth. They're coming from Orion. They're coming from Alpha Centauri, Sarai's A, and Andromeda. See that subscript? Let's go. Defected from the Emerald Covenant a long, long, long time ago. Okay? Oh, oh we want to join the Law of One Emerald Order again. Emerald Covenant. No, we don't. <laughs> oh, they defected. Oh, we want to come back. Oh, they defect again. They come back, they defect again. Well, the last time they were defected was 148,000 years ago. It's the same with uh, Enoch. It's the same with Toth. They joined the Emerald Order and then quit it, defect from it. All they're doing is using it for their benefit to get things that they need. Okay, so that was the first result of Michael. Let's go to the number two of, out of 18. Okay. The Enoch Jehovian, because Enoch is a Jehovian Anunnaki. That's the race he's coming from. Collectives and the Archangel Michael Nephilim Nephite Collectives. So I'll switch back real quick. Wait, wait, what a sec. Wait a second. I wasn't there. Oh, I was on the PDF. Okay. You guys, first of all, consciousness. As it goes higher up the 15-dimensional time matrix, you become a greater, greater collective. A greater collective. In density 2 crystal matter, crystal carbon matter, you're already a 12-tribe collective. Okay? So what that means is 
you perceive on earth just an individual experience, right? Just me, I, you. Well, that grows into a we. And you will be able to have the ability to perceive 12 different incarnations in different places of time space, future and past from where you are. You will be able to perceive them, uh, communicate with them, see them. Okay? Um, so it's the same thing with these archangels. There are a collective, not just one consciousness, a family of consciousness. You would call your lives that you lived in density one all the way from 22,000 BC to 2024, a family of consciousness. Some of those are soulmates. Some of those are, are twin flames and that's your family. And eventually you'll be able to actually perceive them. And Archangel Michael is not a person. Archangel Michael is a race, an extraterrestrial race. And I'm showing you specifically from the book, the Emerald Order teachings. And it's not all from Voyagers 2. There's more. There's, there's, there's a lifetime of workshops and manuals and information. And it just doesn't talk about angels. It talks about spiritual ascension. Spiritual war, fallen angels, it's just a part of it. But that's what we're talking about today, this part. Uh, did I do that on purpose? And, well, here we are back, okay? So this is a collective, collective. I, I always wanna refresh and make sure you're seeing the screen because it's not showing it updated. So, okay, yeah, we're back to the, so it's a collective, not a person. This is a personification that this race created. As in the previous re uh, search result, they created this personification of Archangel Michael and they're using it in the New Age channeling movement and of course in religion. But mostly the in New Age are following, worshiping, learning from the teachings of this Nephite Nephilim Necromaton and Anaki hybrid from Orion, not even from Earth, not from Nibiru. They're coming from other star systems. Now let's go to the third result. I'm looking for the beginning of the sentence. It's a long sentence. <laughs> and if you bought into the Anunnaki Merkaba systems, which is the Death Star Merkaba that something like the New Age is teaching, like Drimville Melchizedek is teaching you th this Merkaba system, the false Death Star Merkabas, uh, flower of life, no, flower of death, presently being taught through the Tolth Inki, fallen angel, Tolth Inki, Nibiru, Nibirian, because he's from Nibiru, that race is from Nibiru, and also from the Alpha Omega system, the, the Melchizedek Templars, Knights Templar, they are legions and they've once I like I said earlier they defected uh, most recently from 1992 Pleiadian Syrian agreements and their recent cohorts the Archangel Michael let's look at what it says in, the, in that submark more aptly described historically by the guardians as Archdemon Michael not a benevolent being not an individual a fallen angelic Luciferian race who created this personification and also their buddies, the Galactic Federation, which once again, the New Age channeling, channeling movement is, is following, giving their credence or I mean, giving their, you know, their, they're worshiping these entities. Ashtar Command is also a negative Anunnaki collective. Uh, you will not, you're not realizing that you are inadvertently creating a re eternal, this is what the new age is teaching you, not uh, a true Merkaba, but an external reverse Merkaba field. And it's being used to amplify, let me see what this says. See, they tell you exactly what Drumvalo or what some other false new age teacher is teaching you. A 34 top magnetic counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, not good. Life, sorry about the cars in the background. Uh, life goes cl clockwise. 
life goes forward. Uh, Anti-life, what they said earlier, anti-Merkaba, or is going the counterclockwise. 21 bottom electric clockwise, base 11 acceleration, Nibiru inverse Merkaba spin ratios. This is what, when you talk about the mathematics and the actual techniques, they're teaching you the opposite of Christ star. Opposite of God, anti-God. This is anti-God, Vatos. Against life, against humans, but you're following these in the New Age. Let's go to the next uh, search result for Michael. Michael. Beginning of the sentence. It's a long sentence too, shit. <laughs> the largest false DNA activation. This is what I just said, you guys. False attention, ascension teachings. And the largest one, the largest false DNA ascension program is conducted by the Alpha Omega Templar. You know, Alpha Omega is reference to the planet system, Alpha Centauri, Omega Centauri, where the, where the Luciferian uh, centaurs exist, bringing you the Templar, Melchizedek, Anunnaki, Draconian Alliance, which is composed of centaur and draconian. That's the reptilians. Density 2 universe, we're talking about the Density 3 universe, Alpha Centauri. Okay? And these freaking Luciferian beetle people called Necromatons, Anunnaki. And they're a race from Andromeda. Sorry, brother, uh, you got some dark uh, beings coming from Andromeda too, not just benevolent beings. Uh, and, and also several other fallen angelic collectives, you know, they have to do with the Illuminati, the One World Order, Dominion. Oh, I, I <laughs> was supposed to start right here. One of the most prominent expressions of the Alpha Omega Centauri Andromeda Inaki, damn, long term, right? Refers to itself as the Archangel Michael Matrix. It refers to itself as Archangel Michael. It's telling you uh, this whole scam, lie, hoax of a fallen angelic, not an archangelic, not a positive being. It's a matrix, a collective. It's actually a bio neurological mass mind control program, Batos being broadcast into Earth's art, art airwaves to unsuspected channelers. Oh, I'm an angel channel. Oh, are you really? Are you really an angel channel, huh? Let's go to the next result for Michael out of 18. Also included are several rebel factions of both Anunnaki and Reptilian legions, including the factions of Archangel Michael. This is not a, a, a nice consciousness energy. Archangel Fallen Angel Nephilim, because that's what it is, Michael is a pet name, okay? Used by the diabolical against Christos, anti-Christos Melchizedek Collective. We don't have to go through all of these. You can check out this book. You see the page numbers do not match the PDF numbers. Just, just know that. Because the PDF is, includes more than just the exact page number. There's more, but if, you want, if you're using the PDF, it's page 397, for example. But the actual physical book would be 384. That's all I'm saying. Okay, the pseudo-spiritual. That's what you're learning. You're learning indoctrination in religion and spiritual, I mean, uh, new age. They're teaching you this shit, man. Excuse my language. They're teaching you this to, work, to follow a pseudo-spiritual, not a real spiritual system. It gives them an opportunity for body snatching. Some of them use body snatching. The Archangel Michael and friends, such as Jehovah, such as Maitreya, such as Lord Melchizedek. These are based on spiritual hierarchy. Hierarchy? Man, I seen somebody in even in the crystals chat say, oh, what's wrong with hierarchy? <laughs> there is no hierarchy in law of one, homies. Okay, I'm trying to go back to move the camera. Okay. There is no hierarchy in Christ consciousness, in unity consciousness. 
Heraki means, oh, wow, there's some chosen ones. There's better ones. There's greater ones. No, there's not. You, you fail to, under, to realize that all are God. The ultimate reality is there is only one reality. There is only one being. Having all these expressions of itself. This is where the concept of law of one comes from. And you're seeing it for yourself. They can say it. They can. The book articulates it better than I can. And I recommend that you guys download this book or like our brother did, buy the book if you want to spend hundreds of dollars. But uh, you don't need to. Um, you can get it for free. Right now, you can download it to whatever device you're using for free. Okay? And check for yourself, you guys. Because religion will tell you it's blasphemy or a sin against God if you go look at other spiritual information. You guys, it's not a sin against God. Okay? Check. I'm just, you know, say, hey, check for yourself and see if you resonate, okay? You don't have to do what I did, skip to the middle or the end of the book. Start at the beginning. Start reading and see if you just, no, this is not what I believe or agree with. And that's okay. Everybody's on their own spiritual, you know, path, their own awakening. I always gotta push F5 because this thing doesn't wanna show current. So, now, somebody asked in chat about Satan. Now, Satan has to do with reptilians. Okay? Let, let me see if I can find that comment again. Little aliens here. What's up, little alien, homie? <laughs> Thank you for being a moderator, sister, and, and have, sharing service with us here. Thank you, sister. Donna Lowe in the house. Positive vibes. You said it. We're all equal. Unity. Um, even the angels are equal. <laughs> They're simply forgot. They have a bump on their head and they don't remember. And, but quite frankly, let's just be frank and honest here. These beings choose. Some of them are aware and conscious. They make their own choice. As a matter of fact, this is a great opportunity to tell you how it started. 44 likes. Claim, I claim that 44, another number. Uh, put someone put that in chat. We can all claim that together. It started with the fallen angels 250 billion years ago. That goes beyond the earth system. It goes beyond the human race before they were created. Okay. Um, so 250 billion years ago, we had the Anu Elohim, the fallen angel race. They chose consciously to attack the guardians in the 12th dimension, no less. They use their own free will choice to dominate other planets, to conquer other races of beings. Uh, they are part of the false creed. So is religion. Uh, wow, what's up with that? Fear, fear God, shame, you're a guilty, sinful, inferior human. Guilt, oh, you, you committed sin. No, Anu Ilihim. It's called the original sin by the guardians because it affected all consciousness in 11th dimension and down. All consciousness was affected by the original sin, uh, the original act. The original falling happened between Anu Elohim and its competing fallen angel race. Remember, these are races. The Bible teaches you about heaven, hell, and earth, and that's it. Remember, this book is this big. Maybe there's more. There is much more. There's more than one fallen angel race. There's more than one extraterrestrial race. Malevolent, right? They choose the path of chaos. Thank you for that, Holy One. Thank you for those hearts, Holy One. Others are agreeing. Not everyone will agree. Okay? These two fallen angels, the reptilians and the Anu Elohim, the Anunnaki, they fought. But they also attacked guardians with their free will, consciously. They literally manipulated their own DNA. They cut off the 12 strand from their potential. Now they're stuck. 
but they wanted to be in their own space, their own piece of creation where they can rule. And they are, okay? With their free will. Yes, unity, of course, but these beings hate you. They don't want unity with you. So we get to be inside of this 11th dimension of chaos. Well, most New Agers think uh, everything above fourth dimensional astral is... No, I just showed you the phantom matrix. Okay? There's darkness between 1 and 11. You can ascend to fourth dimension. You can ascend to fifth dimension, but you're still within the, those 11 dimensions. You're still in spiritual war. You will still be attacked by these beings. Uh, and some of these fallen angels are successful. But we're all God. And it's a hologram experience. God exists. You exist. We all exist outside of the hologram. Okay? So it's an experience. You can, you can think of it as when you're dreaming something negative or positive. That's an experience. So uh, this is an experience. We, we have death. It's not really nothing dies. It's simply energy that changes form just like uh you would say frozen ice can melt into a different form now it's liquid that could be heated up and it changes into vapor another form there's different forms of consciousness there's different forms those are all experiences in the hologram that god created this is god's creation god created free will in the bible you have no free will you're not given free will. That's the fallen angel system. You have free will by creator. Let me ask you those who don't believe in free will. Are you thinking with your own volition? And don't you have to use your own volition to believe in your Jesus Christ? Your father God? You have free will! And you're punished because you used the free will the wrong way. That's not free will. I choose not to believe in Jehovah, Yahweh. Well, you're going to be punished then into eternally. That is not free will. Religion doesn't give you free will, but free will is inherent. You have volition and you're, every single moment, every single second, you're using your free will to make good decisions or bad decisions. You have free will. Creator, God, there's only one God, not a pantheon of gods, not a bunch of Greek gods, not a bunch of Roman, Egyptian, Viking gods, not a bunch of whatever gods. There is only one creator God. There's many, many, many imposter gods claiming to be your God. Claiming, no, commanding you to fear God. Not God. False God, phantom being. Uh, let's look at the codes. What you call creeds. Let's look at the creeds of religion, the false creeds. The guardians call them false creeds in the PDF. And I will show you that, and I will show you the diagram. Let me see. Oh my gosh, I, uh, this thing keeps doing this. So I have to change the... One second here. Give, thank you for your patience. Open with Photoshop, not with photos. Thank you. Now I can click on my pictures without no problems. Okay, this is a spiritual war between angels and archangels. This is a spiritual war between the path of order and the path of chaos. It's not about sin. It's not about, uh, you know, Lucifer or Satan. It's about the path of order versus the path of chaos. Those beings who choose chaos. Let me show you what chaos is. And if you study Law of One from the Inner Crystals Law of One, not the raw material Law of One, the Inner Crystals Law of One, uh, you will discover um, and learn about path of order and path of chaos. These fallen angels chose with their free will that creator God gave them to practice, to follow 
to think and speak from the path of chaos, which is what? Taking, taking energy. And you're going to see it. Taking energy. Yahweh takes energy, doesn't give energy, takes. Um, let's see. PDF, oh, Photoshop. This is religion's creeds in, in the scripture. This is, this is not, I'm not, not making this up. They put down women. Women are lesser. The Eve is, is a, comes out of Adam's rib. It's, it's a sexist patriarchy. Men only club. Homie. They're into hierarchy. They're into elitist and chosen ones and believers only club. They're into judgment, of course. They're into guilt and shame and fear. These are fallen angelic creeds. These are the false creeds given to you by the fallen angels claiming to be your gods, not the creator God. There's only one God. And this is the, oh, this is the true intention of the true creator God, which is love, not judgment. Unconditional love. What we call, the guardians call omni love. You know what the word omni means? It means all. Love all. That is the message of the true Christ, Christos. It is the true message of the real God, not the fake God, not the false anti-Christ, anti-Christos. It's a rude wake-up call when you find out what you've been worshiping your entire life is actually this. This is what you're worshiping. You're worshiping sacrifice. Was not Jeshua, Jesus, no, Jesus, from the Bible, tortured, mutilated, flesh came off his body, sacrificed, uh, nailed to a cross? This is horrible! This is wicked! You don't see no sacrifice here, holy ones. You don't see people being murdered and tortured, mutilated. Know the difference, have discernment. Do you have discernment? Right? Good. It's an honest question. Do you know what is good? Because what you're calling holy and good is against God, against humans, against earth, against all life, because it's reverse consciousness. It's reverse, you would say, when you take life and, and, and go the other life, you're taking, you're taking, you're a vampire. You can call that an energy vampire, or you can call that a reptilian vampire, or anything. It's something that's taking. What are you doing when you worship? You're feeding your life force. You're giving your consciousness with your free will, with your consent. Here, Jehovah, Yahweh, here. Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Ariel, Cal El, Wonder Woman, here's my energy, here's my worship, here's my focus. My focus in life is taking, judging, putting fear. No, transmute. The guardian angels, the real creator God, the guardian angelic nation serving the true creator God in unity. All are God. All are part creations of Creator. This is the message coming from the true angels. Not the message, not the false creeds of the fallen angels. It can get strong emotion, uh, strong energy on this topic. Okay? Just understand that this is... Humans are in spiritual bondage now. That's why these are called freedom teachings. They, they rescue you out of those... You rescue yourself by resonating with this true intention of Creator God. Unconditional love, baby. Machiwa. Omni love. Love the fallen angels. Love Hitler. Doesn't mean you hang out with him. 
or let the these uh, dark in consciousness hang out with your kids. It means you recognize all as one. If you don't recognize all as God, you, you're not. You haven't made it yet. You still have some healing to do. Okay, and so that's a, a taste of what we're talking about when it comes to this angels order path of order and the path of order leads you to the destiny of joy so it is the joy team versus the chaos team because the path of chaos fear guilt shame put down women you know subservience blind worship leads you to the path destiny of sorrow sorrow instead of joy hmm Sorrow is unconscious oblivion. They call it fallen angel for a reason. Maybe you're a ninth dimensional angel, but you fall to the eighth dimension. Fallen angel. You fall. You keep on practicing fear, guilt, shame, put down women, subservience uh, to the dark avatars. Okay, you're going to fall to the seventh dimension. You'll keep on practicing these uh, false creeds. You fall to the sixth dimension, fifth dimension, fourth dimension. You, that's unconscious oblivion. That's the path of sorrow. You become less in your DNA. You become less in your consciousness. You become less, you, you have less memory of what the true intention, of what the real God is. Now, now you're just convoluted. Now you're distorted. And you chose that path. But here's something interesting about that. We're all God. So expanding and ascending takes you back to source God. You return to your source. You return to your divine blueprint, your perfect body, your perfect consciousness. You return. But if you fall, you fall into unconscious oblivion, into what Ashiana, our speaker one teacher, calls, lovingly calls space dust. Eventually you fall into what? Space dust. Which is what? Recycled by God. God recycles that energy into new life, into new opportunity to expand to the true intention of God. So even dark beings return to source. But between that choice of forgetting yourself and the choice of remembering and being in a nice, pleasant experience, you know, you're not uh, torturing be people. You're not... You're not in horror. You're not in fear. You're not, you're not in these terrible conditions. Okay? He, I choose that. <laughs> I choose that path. I am that path. I'm speaking. You speak. Okay? You speak and you do unity. You own it. You're light or you false light. Are you part of the Michael uh, Galactic Federation? Are, are you worshiping these uh, false creeds? We show you the false creeds. You can teach a child uh, love, joy, bliss, kindness, grace. You can so teach your child. Instead of uh, dragging your child to the Church of Rome, to the Council of Nicaea, and to the false creeds of religion and, and churches and popes and and so, it's a discernment and it's a choice. And so, you make your choice. This is not a global planetary ascension, you guys. There is, that's, there's no such thing as a planetary ascension. Uh, because every single one of you are making your choice. So, those people who are choosing uh, to develop their, to bioregenerate their DNA, because your DNA is distorted by these fallen ange angelic, AKA malevolent extraterrestrials, they are attacking you on many fronts. Your DNA giving you injections, uh, that's one of your, you know, you're getting these with your own free will. You, you, you go, yes, inject me. They're attacking you through the air, they're attacking you through the water, they're through the food, through your spiritual beliefs and religions. And according to these, uh, Teachings, all religions have been edited, changed, manipulated, things taken out, things
things put in. So you're going to have, have half truths. I even would say less than half truths. There's a majority of false teachings in there, but your human spirit picks up on some of the true teachings. You would say blessed teachings. Hey, what you do is, and I've heard Ashana say this herself, you take out the, the bad and use the good in your life. Benefit from the good, you know, what you find in the Bible, some of the teachings of Jesus even. Um, I'm not talking about Savior and Messiah. I'm talking about some of the, you know, rational teachings of how to live a life, a good life, how to treat others. You take that from these manipulated, edited, changed uh, religions, you find the truth and you will have discernment. You will know, okay, no, I don't think so. Oh, that's, that's right. That's good. I agree with that. No, that's, that's dark, you know. And I, I had so many conversations with people when I made this uh, Bible video, because I talk about it being a hoax and a lie and, and about the Jehovah, Yahweh. And uh, these people can only, they can't really converse. All they can do is quote Bible and say, I love Jesus. And, uh, and you better start, you know, accepting Jesus or you're going to be sent to the lake of fire. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a mixture of truth and fallen angelic, false creed. You come to the, here, here comes the inner crystals teachings. Okay. You got all this new age. You got over 4,000 religions. That's a lot of different opinions of God. Uh, and then in come inner crystals several hundred thousand years ago, as a matter of fact. That's when the Maharata teachings first came here, which are called the Maharata is an extraterrestrial word. It's an Lyran word, a Lyran Anahazi word. Maharata, say it with me. Maharata. I'll put it in chat. Actually, let's look on the PDF, Maharata, together. So I feel inspired to do that, so I'll do that. Okay, you got your Bible verses and scripture. We have our Emerald Order teachings. Uh, let's look at Voyagers 1, actually, first. Let me go to Voyagers 1. Oh, let me see. Open Voyagers 1. Okay, Maharata, Maharata, 27 results, book one, this is Voyager's one, okay, and you're going to learn about, sorry, my, my book has a lot of highlighted text in it, so, the Maharata book is actually translations. But what I'm trying to find is what is it? What does it stand for? So let me find that first. I want to see where it's pronounced Maharata. Okay, this Liran Anuhazi word means inner Christ, inner Christos. And this is what Jeshua Sanana Mekilzadek, the master indigo type one, came and taught, translated from the CDD plates. Remember, I told you it was a hundreds of thousands of years ago. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying. Okay. This is what John the Baptist and Miriam and Jeshua wrote translations from the CDD plates of the Emerald Order. The inner Christ, not the outer Christ. Not the outer God. Those are false creeds. Okay? Those are beings getting, trying to get you to worship them. And so they're in control of your life. They're in control of every, every aspect of your life. Because now you're following false creeds. Now you are judging people. Now you are looking at other races and other individuals as wrong or something's wrong with them. You got to take that around, honey. Yeah, it's a small neighborhood. We got these cars and crap. Sorry. Purge it. You said, Holy One. 
Um, that's why we use the word transmute. We transmute that energy. Okay. We, we, uh, transmute means you, you cleanse it, you purify it, you, you get it out of here. Now we stand in this new information. <laughs> no, I would say realization. Okay. That it's about unity. Okay. When you include all, okay, and then that's the opposite, not including all, that's segmentation, Se you know, like fragmentation, splitting up, dividing. You're dividing with saying only chosen ones, only believers, only this race, the Hebrew race, the chosen ones, or some other race. Uh, uh, it's your God or my God. Stop! Transmute! And realize, realize omni love, unity, Christ consciousness, inner Christ consciousness, Machua. And I think under this conversation, it would be important to talk about Jeshua, since people are asking about Jesus. Okay? The guardians call it Jeshua. Some people spell it Yeshua, whatever you want to say. Why are we going to have an argument about the spelling? Right? That gets, that's what, I just saw 1144. The average duration was 1144. Man, how many times have we got four fours? And I'm sure we had one four four. I saw one four four three times today as I was making my video about the Anunnaki and the Niflheim. I It is, I'm talking about six, seven, eight times a day. I will see these numbers, you guys. And when I'm here with you in chat, I see more. We see more. Machiwa. Chippy, I, exp I agree with you. Chosen one, I'm better than you. So you must listen to me because I know better. I'm chosen. You're not. What are you? you know? That's the same mentality as a king, as a queen, an emperor, as a guru, as a pope. I'm chosen by God. Uh, no, you're not. You're chosen by... As someone asked about Satan, right? The Church of Rome is a satanic club, honey. Excuse me. Uh, Anunnaki did a lot of twisted, twisting. My hair. <laughs> they did a lot of twisting in our spirituality. But most of it's New Age. The reptilians are the ones who got involved with the Church of Rome. And it's not just the church. I mean, there is forbidden history. You will find out that they messed with Rome, Greece, Egypt. They messed with India. They messed with China. They messed with all these different periods. That is what I'm going to be known for when I come out with the freedom. When I, when I come out with the forbidden history, that is what I'm going to be known for. Because this is going to be an awakening call for a lot of people. I'm also going to be get heavy into Atlantis and Lemuria because that's where it's all coming from, baby. Which is way before Rome. <laughs> way before Sumer. You thought that's the beginning of civilization. No, it's not. It's somewhere at the end when, when we know that it's uh, millions of years on our planet, but hundreds of millions of years on a other planet where humans are coming from, another dimension, another universe. Okay? That's part of your forbidden history. You're not allowed to know. It's covered up. It's replaced. And now you're following something other than... Christ consciousness and unity. You're breaking it down. You're having these holy wars. There's nothing holy about war, man. And you will have religious people saying, those people deserve it. Sinners deserve it. God did this. God wiped out those people because you're rationalizing. Stop. Stop right there. God wiping out people. Hello. That is not a divine, sacred being. <laughs> You're trying to make an example. You're trying to teach me a lesson that God murdered those, those firstborn and babies and children because it was the Passover. It was to show the Egyptians they did bad things. Stop right there! You're rationalizing this horrible thing, man! You are! That's your choice. 
you're accepting that into your soul, into your consciousness, into your vibration, homie. You're, you're accepting it. You're saying, yeah, it's in the word of God. Sacrifice is good. War, unholy war is good. No, it's not. This is, this is hoax. It's a scam. It's a lie by these fallen angels, by vampires. You, you don't have discernment anymore. You guys, this didn't happen yesterday. It didn't happen in Rome. It didn't, I mean, it didn't start in Rome. It didn't start in Sumer. It started a long, long time ago. Hundreds of millions, specifically 550 million years ago in Tara, in Atlantis, in Lemuria. I had a question today. I thought Lemuria was different than Atlantis. You guys, Lemuria and Atlantis happened at the same time. Like uh, America and Europe is in the same time. Atlantis is Atlanteans. Lemurians are Lemurians from Mu. Okay, they happen at the same time. <laughs> they existed together. How did the Atlanteans murder the Lemurians if they didn't exist at the same time? It was the Lemurians who had, Atlanteans who attacked the Lemurians, who were, by the way, serving Law of One. Okay, um, that's why the Illuminati, who took over the Holy Grail line of uh, priestcraft, now they were in control of religion and created religions. You guys see, the Council of Nicaea was just one of many, what the Guardians call the Luciferian Covenant. For 50,000 years, they have been putting things in place up to now. What happened in... in Y2K, 2000. What happened with the Mayan calendar? What happened with 9-11? What happened uh, with all these stages, all of these steps to what? What is all this Luciferian order leading up to? One thing. One world order. Because as soon as that happens, <laughs> game over. Goodbye, freedom. Goodbye, Christ, Christos. Goodbye, uh, real God. Now you'll be in slavery, extraterrestrial martial law. You think it's bad now? Uh, no, not really. It's bad, but not like when that happens. Because it will happen. It happens in this timeline. Because it already happened in parallel earth. It'll happen on this earth. This is why spiritual ascension, not rapture, that ain't get you nowhere. Spiritual ascension, uh, taking care of the distortions in your beliefs, in your consciousness, thoughts. You know, you stop fear, guilt, shame, putting down women. Okay, you stop that. And you, you switch to unity. All are one, baby. All are God. Not some. Okay, when you say only believers, you're saying that omnipresence is not real. You're saying that something can go outside of the creator that created you. Did you think about that very long? No, really. Think about omnipresence, omnipotence, immutability, omnibenevolence. Think about these qualities of God. How can you be benevolent if you're murdering beings? All Benevolent. Remember, omni means all. How can you be omni, all benevolent, when you're murdering and torturing? How? How, how, how does your mind think that? How, how can God say you're outside of... How can your beliefs say you're outside of God when you also say God's everywhere? Okay, make up your mind. Is God everywhere? Or just some places. Well, if it's just some places, and then it's not omnipresent. You contradict yourself. Is God omnibenevolent and omnipresent, omni omnipotent, or not? Make up your mind because you're contradicting you. And as Emerald Order comes in, we call you out, homies. 
We're calling out religion. We're calling out false creeds and false Christs and false gods. And talking about sending out the real God. The real Christ. There was a Jesus. But we're, that's not the same as Christ. Jesus, Jeshua, was a Christ. Was a Christos. There are 25 billion not just Jesus, there's 25 billion guardian angelic nations serving the law of one. They are all Christos. They're all Christ. Because they're serving law of one in unity and all omni-love. Omni-love, baby. You feel the difference between a omni-love and a sometimes love. Conditional, not unconditional. When you say, when the religion says, and you religious followers say, you cannot go into the kingdom of heaven, you cannot have a relationship with God unless, 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 you could not escape God if you wanted to. You can't run somewhere where God isn't because God is everywhere. It even says so in your Bible. God's omnipresent. God is everywhere. There. 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 God's over there. Up. Uh, give up. Because God's everywhere. Omnipresent. Omnibenevolent. Not sometimes benevolent. I love you. No, I'm going to murder you. I'm taking you out. Right? Right? And, and, and you religious people will, will rationalize and say, yeah, because they were Sodom and Gomorrah were horrible. They deserve to be murdered. <laughs> All those uh, races, entire races that Joshua was ordered by God to go wipe out. It's been justified. By false creeds, man. <laughs> so, you make your choice. Even though religion doesn't give you free will, you have free will. You have volition. You're using volition to make choices. No one's... You're not a puppet, a marionette. No one's pulling your strings and saying, you're going to make this choice. You're going to make this choice. Uh, honey, you're perfectly... Uh, Capable of making your own bad mistakes or good mistakes. No, good choices or bad choices. You have free will. You're using it every single second. <laughs> Amber Starseed. Thank you, sister. And you guys, I, I it, it can be intense. Okay? Um, and that's not anger. You, you, you either feel this energy like our sister or you don't. You either understand or you don't. And this is my passion. I love it. That's why it can be passionate. You know, as in... <laughs> Not anger. Don't confuse anger with intensity or passion. Um, so, and I am full of joy. That joy, it's all part of... A, we all can experience bliss. We can all have grace. Okay? There's no savior required for that. You don't need a relationship to be connected... I mean, you don't need a savior to be connected to God. Jeshua was not murdered and sacrificed and mutilated. Jeshua was a real person who came here teaching the Maharata. I showed you the, the actual um, information on the PDF from the Emerald Order. Jeshua came here to, to tell us that we're all children of God. Jeshua was teaching unity consciousness and teaching... Uh, uh, he would say about stargates and about how to ascend, ascension mechanics. So was John the Baptist, so was Miriam. They each had different books that they were creating. And if you read Voyagers 2, you will read, well, let's do that right now. Jeshua, Jesus, real person. Let me make sure. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, so here we are. Let me refresh my screen so I can see it updated. I 
I just want to see it updated. Okay. So we'll go to the top. Well, this is Voyagers 1. Let me go back to Voyagers 2. And put in Jesus instead of Michael. How many results? 19 results for Jesus out of a 500, basically 600 page book. Jesus Christ. The Hebrew morphogenetic field, that's a, remember this is a spiritual science, we teach you about morphogenetic fields. Um, this is about Amenti, 2,000 years ago, with the birth of a man who has come to be known as Jesus Christ. Oh, this is part of the chapter called, oh, this is Journey Awakening. Okay, there's different chapters. Jeshua 12. The child's soul essence, okay, under the direction of Azurites, uh, I, can, I can remove these for now, under the direction of the Azurites of the Raw Confederacy, in 12 BC, the 12th level avatar, a pure Taran, Turanesium soul essence, was born outside of Bethlehem in a private residence. To a blue fame, not Joseph and Mary, but to a Melchizedek Hebrew seen mother, and blue flame Melchizedek Hebrew cloister is seen father. It was not immaculate conception, but rather orchestrated through means of a couple chosen and prepared for, by the priests of Ur. Remember, humans come from the Urtites. His mother's name was, I don't know how to pronounce that, Jedi, Jedi. His father, Johias, Johias. Remember, Ashana made a workshop, or at least a PDF called The True Christmas Story. And you will learn a hell of a lot more in detail than just this in Voyagers. Both were leaders of the Blue Flame and Kilzadek Essene sect, which is a Hebrew sect. Okay, um, The child's soul essence, we talk about the soul coming into the fetus of the body. Uh, the soul essence was born of an avatar called Sananda. That's who Jesus is. Jesus' consciousness, uh, not immaculate conception. Jesus came into the fetus. His consciousness was from density four, a 12th level Christos avatar. Okay? Um, the guardians will reference it as Jeshua 12, because Jeshua 12 is a 12th dimensional consciousness. The personages of Joseph and Mary were not, capital letters, were not the parents of this avatar, okay? Because th th that's a different being that came in. They were the parents of a ninth level avatar, not a 12th dimensional one, but a ninth. And that will start talking about uh, Jeshua 9 instead of Jeshua 12. Let's go to the next one. Uh, let me see. Jesus. The stories. Okay. Jeshua was not born. Let me remove that for now. Je Jeshua was not born of immaculate conception, but rather through the visitation. Oh, Jeshua. That's the Jeshua 9. Jeshua 9. Okay, is the one who had a mother and Mary. Um, and Jeshua 9, uh, well, Mary, <laughs> Mary was visited by an E.T. Nephilim, which we know is Anunnaki, an extraterrestrial. Also not Immaculate Conception, either. Okay, we're not trying to go off on a tangent here. Jeshua, different spelling is is the is the false Christ, the false I mean the false Jesus. Uh, I'm trying to get to where he Jesus was teaching. Let's find that Jesus Christ. I just want to read this though. At least read this. The story of Jesus Christ, as it is known in contemporary times, evolved through the mythology. Remember Michael, Ariel, Gabriel. Elohim, used to conceal, <coughs> I need a drink of water, 
my voice does. Used to conceal the identity of the avatar, Jeshua 9, and to perpetuate the patriarchal slant, the one I've been telling you about, the false creeds of patriarchy, putting down women and all that crap. It's a Templar creed, the negative Templar creed. The distortions of the true facts of the history were protect, were to protect, well, there's some political reason they wanted to protect this Jeshua, but I'm still trying to get to the teachings. Let me get to his teachings. Oh, there was a mention of John the Baptist, who I feel connected to. I know I've seen John the Baptist. I, I, I had a, these uh, experiences, and um, I mentioned it in last year in my 420, April 20th, live. If you're interested, go to my channel and look under uh, April 1st, uh, no, April 20th. I talk about John the Baptist. Well, gee, maybe it's in Boy maybe it's in uh, Voyagers One. Yeah, this is in Voyagers One. So let me go to uh, Jesus again. Let me go to the top. Go to the top and put Jesus. Jesus. This is Voyagers One. Twenty-three results. Okay, now we're talking about the teachings. That's what I was trying to find. <laughs> uh. And Ashana was there, by the way. Our teacher was Miriam. Ashana, Iyasha Ashana was Miriam. So she worked with Je Jeshua. Um, this is, uh, the years are going to be off. I'm just trying to find the books. I haven't seen the books. Maybe the books will come after this chapter. There we are. Well, wait. Yeah. These books included Je Jesus' real books. Now, uh, people are going to think it's crazy that I'm saying, I'm not saying, these teachings are saying. What the F, dude? Oh, okay. I thought I wasn't showing the book. <laughs> I thought I was showing my face still. These books included Jeshua's six books of process detailing self-generated ascension mechanics. No savior, no rapture uh, required. Self-generated and religious people can't stand that. You're not part. Of, you're not God. You're not all our God. You're, you 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 will be judged by God. Jesus also wrote the 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 core template biogenesis. That means you take your DNA and fix it. DNA bio is DNA. DNA regenesis, and also about the book of map and keys, a technical manual of Earth. Remember, I told you he was talking about stargates. Okay, I just wanted to, to mention all that because it's important for some people following the false creed of, of this Jeshua 12 and, and the patriarchal put down women creed, okay? If that is not a red flag, I mean, what do you women think? Are you supposed to be a subordinate to the man? Uh, you never heard of divine feminine, divine masculine? And women, you're not meant to say, oh, now we're better in, in the new age. Now it's women's turn. <laughs> Hello. Patriarchy, BS. Matriarchy, BS. Sexist, sexist. Uh, bring them together. M women and men are equal. All beings are equal. An animal, a cockroach is equal to you. It's God having an experience as a cockroach. Your neighbor is God. You're God. I'm God. It's not a sin. It's not blasphemy. This channel is trying to bring back. I'm one of many. There's other people bringing back unity. Bringing back. Oh, wait. I didn't switch it back, did I? I, I was. Sometimes I, get, I forget to switch back. I did switch back. Yeah. All right, guys. You guys want to get lit, get lit. 
We're having a good night tonight. You said it, Hugh Programmer. That's the real Joshua. Jesus. You said it, Donna. I think I, I'm understanding you. Um, we're bringing these teachings back. We're bringing our true identity back. This is our heritage. You're not getting heritage from there. You, you want to know what's in the Bible? Like Abraham, Moses. Excuse me. I, I usually don't eat. I, I never, I'm not saying never. I, I only eat in one, one meal a day. So sometimes I feel hungry a little bit by this time. But anyways, uh, we're returning these teachings that were been changed. We're trying to bring it back. Definitely things were changed. The Council of Nia is, Nicaea is one example in modern times, but since science doesn't acknowledge Atlantis, well, we can't really talk to a whole mass, the, the mainstream about it, because they don't believe in Atlantis. That's why I'm going to be focusing on Atlantis, because there, there is historical things that can prove Atlantis was, was real place. Okay? And so this is a part of our history you guys it's part of who you are let's if you have a twisted messed up distorted idea of your history of what is god of what are angels and even archangels i mean fallen angels you got these twisted ideas well your identity is twisted you don't know who you are much less what god is you're confused and lost and distorted and and now, since you are serving fear, guilt, shame, subservience, blind worship, now you're falling. You are falling and following the path, what we mentioned earlier, the path of chaos. You're following the destiny of sorrow. You're going to go into the unconscious oblivion. It's interesting how the, the uh, twisted Bible talks about fallen angels, but it is fallen angels who created that version of the spiritual spirituality, if you want to call it that. You know, talk about spirituality. Uh, one of the first things you do is you work on your anger. You work on your shadow. But in religion, the God is angry, not just normal anger. It says many times, burning anger. You know, when we see anyone with anger, you don't want to be around that person, right? You don't want anger in your relationship. You don't want anger in your children. You don't want to be angry. And people, there's some people who seek anger management. Because they don't want anger, but, but there's a really pissed off, angry God in religion. Not just Christianity. Remember, almost all of those 4,000 plus religions are patriarchies. How many cultures have to, where women have to hide their faces? They're like animals to some chauvinistic pigs. That you just look at as an object. What does that do to your spirituality? Right? When you put down when you put down the divine feminine. Okay? Name how many religions can you think of that aren't patriarchies? I hate to break it to some of you. Uh, Hinduism puts down women. Buddhism puts down women. Okay? You don't believe me? Do some little basic research you will find out for yourself real quick that women are just some lower, lower caste. Bullshit. Excuse my language. <laughs> Thank you for those hearts. Did I even put my incense on? Oh my god. It's not even really hot. Ha <laughs> ha!
That can't happen. Let me let me do it for real this time. I mean, let me actually do it. It's a little bit hot, not hot enough. Let me start a new one. I'm sure some of you told me in chat, hey, Anuhazi, you forgot the incense. Light your incense. <laughs> Better late than never. Or, or did I? Didn't I burn some incense? I can't remember. I thought I did. Yeah, I did burn some. Let me burn some more. <laughs> it just looked weird. It was completely empty. So I thought it, I thought I didn't do it, but it just completely burned. That's what happened. So you guys, my my recommendation stands. I recommend that you guys check out the Emerald Order teachings, starting with Voyagers 1 and Voyagers 2. And then if you resonate with those books or PDFs you divide, you can download for free, we give you the direct link. I'm sure Celine or Little Alien or Indigo Wizard helped you with that. And our brother Starman, he's sometimes here. Um, and you guys can check. See, see what you feel. Because, hey... I was forced as a little kid to go to, to Christianity. My parents were Christians. And my dad was a chauvinist pig. I love my dad. This was a long time ago. He was a chauvinist pig acting like the man of the castle, putting the family in fear. My mom didn't put up with that shit. This is coming from religion, you guys. Straight up! Can't deny it! Spoken by Yahweh itself. Woo! We'll bring it down. We'll bring the intensity down. Okay? So... It will be a new journey. You can say it will be an awakening. Maybe it was a rude awakening. Okay, there will be many of you who are uh, who who are kind of like starting to understand this larger picture. Okay, so the angels are not servants of the Lord. Lord, who gives himself some entitlement? Who calls himself the king of kings? 144. No way. I Look in chat, you guys. There's 144 people online. Put that in chat. Claim that. I claim that. What did I tell you? We get these numbers all day long, baby. What's up? Angels are six-dimensional consciousness. Okay? It is a multi-dimensional simultaneous existence. Now, we showed you the diagram and you saw the Templar, the chakras. The body has chakras, matching chakras. So your heart chakra connects to the planet's fourth dimensional chakra, or the sixth connects to the sixth, the seventh connects to the seventh, which is Archangel. You are a spiritual starseed or indigo child, two different things. Starseeds are part of the 12 tribes. Okay? Star seeds, there's seven earth seeds and five star seeds. That's a star seed. An indigo child is coming from the Sarai's B. On the same team. So it is star seeds and indigos um, who are bringing in this angelic consciousness to earth, bringing archangel consciousness. This third eye chakra is a vortice. A vortex it's a wormhole that comes out the front horizontally and the same direction this way okay this is angelic consciousness you know you open up your root you well every all humans have root sacral and solar plexus chakra because that's what universe we're in so all beings here have those chakras. When part of you is only a plant or an animal, you only have two. But humans here have three. So you're a human. Eventually you will be 
an astral being. Eventually you will ascend to be an archetype being. And then finally you will be an angelic being. Six chakra. This is your six chakra. And in this life, you can open this. In the 3D, you can open 6D and connect to your angelic self. Not channel, not channel and, and uh, invocate spirits. No, go into your family of consciousness. Go into your Templar. Go to your sixth chakra and connect to your angel self. Activate the crown chakra and the thymus chakra and the third and the thalamus chakra, the brain, uh, and you will connect to your archangel self. You see how it works. It's about the chakra. It's about consciousness. So not only, you know, do we connect to that, but just understand you're literally there too. It is that part of yourself who projected this part of yourself down here. We're spirits having a human experience. As a matter of fact, all earth seeds, not star seeds, all earth seeds are in the fourth dimension right now. Their consciousness, you can call it spirit. Their spirit is in the fourth dimensional astral. We are astral beings in a 3D body. So this may perish the body, but your consciousness will change form. It will leave the body because this is, it will leave the vehicle at death and start again. It's called reincarnate. Re, that's why the word re there. Incarnate, well, you're gonna reincarnate. You're gonna come back into a flesh body vehicle and walk around in the 3D world. But the human race collective all of us are in the fourth dimensional astral projecting into the 3D. All of us are creating this reality. We're creating this drama. We're co-creating it. Right? So there's a bunch of, uh, remember, it's a spiritual war. So these beings uh, are messing with our collective. They're messing with our planet. They're messing with our spiritual beliefs, as I demonstrated in this part of the you know, teaching this uh, live. So we're, we're returning back. The angels from the sixth dimension and the archangels from the seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension and the avatars of liquid light, the 10th, 11th, and 12th dimension. Guardian beings. Guardian beings are projecting their consciousness they even make soul contracts with your parents, your parents' soul and your father's soul. They agreed to the souls of your parents to bring in a indigo child. It's called a paradisian contract, birthing contract, a birthing contract. Okay? And we have a mission, a commission. Angels and archangels have commissions. You're not from Earth! Homie, right? We're from the stars. Angels and archangels came into this earth drama to help the earth drama. They didn't come here to ascend. Starseed, our indigo, you're not here to ascend. You already did. You're from the sixth dimension or seventh dimension or eighth or ninth or tenth or eleventh or twelfth. You're from those dimensions coming to this dimension to freaking help raise the consciousness because it's falling which are, from that point of view, is parts of us. Part of us is down here falling. Part of our family of consciousness of 1,728 selves, it is the, those selves trying to heal these selves. You see how it works? Our benevolent aspects, it, not, I don't mean benevolent, I mean our awakened aspects are trying to heal parts of its consciousness down in the 3D to heal, to bring our entire family back to source, back to its original. Okay, so we have humans on the planet and we have some what's called hybrids humans. So we have humans, normal humans, 
okay, who are called earth seeds. That's because they were created on earth. But their soul essence is not. And I just told you, we're from the collective in the fourth dimension. But we're, the humans don't remember that. Okay, so there's earth seeds, but there's hybrids called indigo children. They're part human, part star seed, or part from other levels of DNA, right? So now there's indigo children here. Hello. Some of you are indigos and star seeds. We're angels. We're archangels. We're avatars coming to the human drama. We've already ascended. We're trying to heal ourselves. Remember, at the higher consciousness, we see the all. We see us all as blessed. And some of the ones who have forgotten that just simply need to heal that part. We're a family. And we're trying to heal our family. We're trying to heal our family of Earth, man. The human race. We would love it if everyone ascended. That would be awesome. Unfortunately, not everyone's choosing it. Most of the humans, billions of them, are choosing false creeds. Okay? They're falling. Because they're speaking phantom chaos. They're acting with phantom chaos. Maybe there's some sweet old ladies, sweet people, kind, loving people in religion. Of course. Right? But remember, this is a multidimensional thing. This is a this person in religion or in the church has lived many lives. Remember, all the way since 22,000 BC, you will live 144 times. Okay? Your immediate soul family is 12. Okay? You have 12 of yourselves and you'll live life as a boy girl. Boy girl. Boy girl. Boy girl. Boy girl. Boy girl. 12 lifetimes. That's your immediate soul family. But your greater soul family, because in the, her in the uh, higher dimensions, you have 12 souls. So if each of those 12 souls have 12 incarnations in earth system, well, that's 12 times 12. That's 144. Now, I've talked about this before. You have 144 here. You have 144 lives, incarnations, in density 2. You have 144 in density 3, etheric matter. You have 144 in liquid light, avatar level. You have the same amount in the parallel Earth, parallel universe. Okay? And then you got some in the triadic fields, ascended masters, the polaric ascended masters, and, and the ecadic ascended masters. So you have... All, if you add all these up on a calculator, you have 1,728. 3, 6, 9, 12, baby, divisible by 3. 1, 7, 2, 8, divisible by 3. You live in 144, 144. You are this holy one. You, you are an You're not just limited to being an angel. You're not just being limited to being an archangel or an avatar. Remember, this is a 15-dimensional system, like I said at the beginning of this uh, lecture. Uh, you exist outside of this 15-dimensional system. I mean, you exist here, but also you're beyond it. God is beyond the hologram. God is beyond physical matter, beyond a body. Remember, this body changes into a 50% less matter. Then it changes into a no body. Pure consciousness. And then it turns into liquid light. You, you, you see, there's no boy or girls. I mean, there's no gender after a certain point. You evolve. Uh, the gender and physicality and forms and bodies are the early stages of your spiritual journey. Eventually, you will not have a body. And some of us have opened our higher chakras. We remember those other worlds. I've seen those other worlds. <laughs> More loose, extreme, how can I say it? I've seen it extremely lucidly. More real than this reality. This isn't lucid, come on. I've seen lucid. I know the difference between this reality and those realities. Okay, so I love you, holy ones, unconditionally. If you hate me, I love you. You're trying to harm me in some way, I, I'm loving you. I stand in my inner Christ, Christos. I'm standing in my uh, connection to my higher uh, angelic self. 
Archangelic Self, Avatar Self, Ascended Master Self. I choose with my free will to, to follow Unity Consciousness, Christ Consciousness, which is a 12th dimensional consciousness. You can too. You choose with your free will. Maybe you've had a rough life and, and messed up life. Hey, we talk about indigo children, type threes, having a messed up life because of their service. Their service is to combine within them a Nephilim, fallen angel. This is real angel accepting a fallen angel into its hologram experience in the third dimension. Two souls in one body. It's not possession, okay? This is an agreement between the Nephilim and the Orophim, both angels, archangels, avatars, and beyond. The, the, indigo, type, the indigo type 3 is literally the lowest indigo, if you want to say that when, in regards to energy. It has 24 strands. This Nephilim that is trying to help heal its DNA and its consciousness only has 11. It's not even Christed at 12. The Anunnaki who are telling us that to worship them as God, Jehovah and Yahweh, Allah and Brahma, telling us to worship them, they're lower than the human race. Okay? They're 11th dimension. Reptilians are only 10th dimensional. The Anunnaki are 9th dimensional. I mean, the, the lower version. Um, you would say, you know, there's Anunnaki... On Sarias, there's Marduk Anunnaki, there's there's different Enlil Anunnaki, Inki Anunnaki, so many New Agers worship these false beings. <laughs> and, but uh, here you are reclaiming yourself through the Emerald Order teachings. You guys, this changed my life. I was buried in religion, and then I went through a whole, I rebelled left the house, left religion, because I now had freedom to do it. And uh, of course I lived a 3D life for most of my life because of that. Because I was like, angry. <laughs> I found, I, you know, it twisted my mind. It warped me. It distorted me. Good job, fallen angels. They, they were victorious, but I healed myself eventually. I found my inner Christ. I found, inner, I found God inside me. So now when Jehovah Witness comes to my door, <laughs> greetings, blessing. Blessings, holy ones. Okay? You discern. You transmute. You heal your consciousness and your life. And your beliefs that you used to have, you switch over to uh, uh, something that actually heals you, actually heals, uh, you would say, transforms your, your DNA. Uh, even without the techniques, you can still go through some major transformations. This teachings, there's nothing like it on the planet. Now, this is originally spoken and taught by our teacher, e, who's called Speaker One the first speaker of this information. There's a speaker two, there was a speaker three, but now there's speaker one, and it came, started with the Emerald Order teachings from Ashana, Iyasha Ashana. But this is all our work. Okay, she made it, came and represented Emerald Order, but so do we. We're, there's more, there's millions of indigo children, not just her, okay? Um, but we love Ashana, we, we're grateful to Ashana, but you know, she's kind of like, not retired, but she's like, peace, you know, kind of like private. But somebody's got to bring this. 144 again. What's up? <laughs> you guys, smash that like button. Hit that like button for me. What's up? As a matter of fact, if you guys have learned anything from these teachings, please consider supporting this work. You can do that here live. Um... Smash, like, like, there's a little dollar sign. Please make an online donation. Um, this is my, you would say, this is what sustains me. This work sustains me so I can do this full time. 
I'm truly grateful to be full time, but it's only done and made possible by your guys' help. So thank you for that small gift of $5 or whatever you feel called for. Um, you can also support this work by buying one of my art, Starseed artworks. And you can also support this work by becoming a paid member. Okay, there's a membership area, and that means you can also join the Christos Discord chat server. That means you can chat with all the other Starseeds. So, and uh, you also get the diagram, depending, and you also get some of the extra perks. Thank you guys for those of you who are supporting this work. And all of the members I see online, they got the little star and colored usernames. Bless all of you who have helped. Thank you so much for those of you. And um, it, it helps me be able to survive and bring all of this full time. Like, I'm a busy bee. I'm bring, making videos almost every day, bringing you content almost every day. And, uh, but you don't have to wait on me or, you know, you guys can study these teachings yourself. Well, these teachings or these books and these teachings were um, used to cost a lot of money. Ashiana was doing workshops all over the world. She had to be able to sustain herself. She had to be able to go to and do what's called round tables, which is grid work around the planet and do workshops in all these different cities around the world. She was in India. She was in Canada. She was in uh, Peru. She was in all over the world. Um, so she was charging money for these teachings. And, and a lot of people believe that you're not supposed to charge money. Um, this takes as much effort as any other work. And so I appreciate those who appreciate that exchange of energy, right? <laughs> so yes, um, let me check back with chat. That's right. You said it, Celine. So much love and chat. We're co-creating paradise together. And it's a group effort, you guys. It's not about one person. It's not even about Jesus. This is a this is a guardian effort. You're one of the many member. There's 25 billion starseed nations. There's 20, there's 10 million Guardian Alliance Star Leagues. You're one of those 10 million at least. Reggae Excess Muffin, sister, big hug and kiss from your brother. Thank you, sister, for supporting this work. I love you. Thank you so much. You're awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you're my friend, too. Uh, Sandra's, thank you, holy one. You started something. Look at that. Little, is that a kitty cat or is that a fox? It says, thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Much love to you. She, it says, let's celebrate. Oh. The first super on live chat. Thank you. We have Monster Quinn in the house. Stardust Goddess, much love to you, sister, too. Thank you so much. You're one of these guardians. You're bringing your truth. And you guys, each and every one of us, there's people around you in your relationships. That There's people around in your family and friends and, hey, your work, work or your school in the world. We are speaking as a guardian. We are thinking as a guardian. We're sending into the world these codes. Indigos drop codes, homie. It's all energy. It's all consciousness. Words are conscious. Are you know? Words are energy. And and what you're you know? Open a dialogue with somebody. You can talk peacefully about Jesus. You can talk peacefully to Jehovah's Witness. You can, you, can, you can introduce unity. Plant a seed. Whoa. Look, I think that was my phone. Let me put plug the battery in. Or the power in. Oh, shit. I almost stepped on the heart charcoal. Heart ch hot, hot charcoal. <laughs> uh, let me actually... Is the camera still straight? Because I bumped into it. So let's go for 15 more minutes, you guys. We'll, we'll, we'll keep on doing this uh, ceremony together for 15 more minutes. Um, I haven't, I, for some reason, I feel hungry today. I usually don't. You know, I can go for days without eating, but. 
I and I will smoke again. I'm just taking a break for a while, guys. I do this every now and then. I will take a week off. I'll take a month off. Um, when I was living with family, I took a few months off. Um, so everyone has their own healing, right? Their own path, their own circumstances, their own reasons. And um, the most I've fasted, though, is three days. I mean, I can fast for more, but I don't think I, I need to. Some people may need to or want to. But let me tell you something. If you have a serious ailment or serious sick, sick, you know, disease or even cancer. Hello. This is what I would do if I had cancer. Start fasting. Two weeks, three weeks. Water fast. Flush your body system. Okay? And when you start eating again, only eat alkaline. Only eat one meal a day. Only uh, do not stop cooking food. Stop microwaving food. Eat living food. Vegetables. If you have death around the corner, you will heal yourself. And then maybe after almost dying, maybe, or being in hell from some sickness or disease, maybe you will change your lifestyle after that. And then you'll start realizing, which I realized in the past, is that when I stop smoking, my dreams come back. I have more lucid dreams again, more memories of my dreams. And I'm an open book. I'm transparent. I will tell you if I have flaws. Most people won't. Uh, they keep that to themselves. But I know that I will still bring the advice, even if I sometimes don't do it right. So um, that's the best thing you can do with someone you love. Okay, like. My, sis, my, my daughter, she lives in the far away. She lives in East Coast. You know, she used to live in Tucson. Um, I wish she was more closer in my life. Um, so it's, that's one example. And I know that she's hardcore in a family, a household that's all religion. <laughs> and I've opened up dialogue to her, but she doesn't resonate with all this information. She's still into that, you know, holy book. So, and her mother is a preacher, a dammer, a, a judgment or judgmental person. Very, very judgmental. Maybe that's probably why I'm not with her anymore. Uh, but anyways, uh, you guys all have opportunities to bring unity into someone else's life and Christ consciousness. Um, most people will know what the F are you talking about? Christ consciousness. That sounds like new age or some hippie thing, right? I mean, from there, you can understand that it kind of does. Uh, but when you start understanding Christ consciousness, you start explaining it, learning it, studying it, mastering it. We are on a path of spiritual mastery, homies. Okay. And we can have the grace. I'm not saying humbleness. You can be humble if you want. You can be a martyr. No, what are you doing? You can... You, what I'm trying to say is you can say to yourself that you have mistakes. That you're not perfect. You're not perfect. We're not perfect down here. We're in a distortion of a distortion of a distortion. That's what 3D is. That's what Earth is. That's what this drama and spiritual war is. A distortion. And so, but you can love yourself. Find love for yourself. Respect your, and love yourself. So many people in this world are abused by people they love even, much less the world. So find love and find how to love others. Because some people are so bitter, so, or so prideful or arrogant or so uh, racist or so judgmental or so, you know, that's a change. 
we need a change, right? You, you need to evolve. It's called spiritual evolution. You need to, because that's not working. That's only bringing chaos to the world. We need to come together in unconditional, what the guardians call omni-love. We need to come together and unite, unity. Fragmentation, breaking up, segmenting is the false side. Machua. Little alien homie, huggy sister. Thank you so much. Bless you, Holy One. And I know, I know Celine is always supporting me in this work. And uh, a lot of you guys um, have, have really helped. And I have a lot of friends now because of you. I live alone in a small town outside of Las Vegas. My family are all in Arizona. My daughter's way over in Wisconsin. Uh, so it can be lonely, right? Uh, my neighbor is having the cancer issue in her life, but she's not going to budge. And that's her choice. Bless her. I love you. Her name's Kathy. I love you, Kathy. Um, but she doesn't stop smoking, even though death is at the door. Um, she can't stand doctors, but she's in a hospital now. Um, she's involved with hospice now. Um, people make their choice. And you can't force unity on anybody. <laughs> you can't force people to stop speaking negativity all the time. Negative, negative, negative. What? Okay, I don't want that in my space. Bless you. But, you know... And you guys will find that on this path of being an angel, being an archangel, you will need to place boundaries. Okay? Still love. Love all. Omni-love. But place boundaries on influences, on dark energies, or just negative energies that are rubbing off on you and your life and your children. You have to be responsible as a light worker, as a light bringer. Okay? Like I said, we can love the negative dark beings, but it doesn't mean we have to hang and be buddies. <laughs> you can love someone, but not like them. I don't like that lifestyle. I don't like those attitudes and beliefs. I love you, but I have to move on. You, you know, we put boundaries. S delete. Uh, break up. Divorce. Transmute. Okay? I said 15 minutes, so we're almost there. Um, I just want you guys to know that this came from a, this message came from a space of love. I'm not hating on Christianity. My families are Christians and we are based on unity, but we're going to point out, we're going to expose what the fallen angelics are doing. Okay. And we love the fallen angelics. We're just not, uh, you know can allow them to, to railroad our planet, cause pole shift and mass murder, okay, uh, or take down the souls of humans without us offering the Emerald Order freedom teachings. Machiwa. Stardust Goddess! Ami Christus Love! <laughs> Oh, thank you, sister. You're so sweet. And um, maybe it's because I just took a shower like right before the show. Because my hair looks really like puffy or something. <laughs> and my skin looks better after I shave, right? <laughs> so thank you for that. And, um, and, you know, I get bullets shot at me all the time. I mean, like in chat and social media, people will say negative shit. And isn't it interesting that it's religious people? Not only, but I'm saying religion is supposed to make you, you know, a good person. Right? So it's awesome to have my brothers and sisters, you know, to share that loving energy. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I'm not like kick the bucket. I'm not over the hill. Maybe I will find my twin flame. <laughs> or not. Whichever way is fine with me. I mean, uh, it, I think someday it could happen. Okay? As a matter of fact, my mom found her hut, 
her husband that she calls the love of her life either, well she's known she's known him for a long time but she didn't they didn't come together and get married until like she's in her 70s like my mom's 17 years older than me so I'm 53 so 63 70 oh so she was like late 60s when she met this man or married this man so if she my mom can meet, find her love late in life I could too <laughs> That's not my focus in life. My focus is on inner Christ, inner teachings, and bringing it to the world. And But I will be around people when I open my Azurite temple. It'll be like a temple of Emerald Order in Sedona. Or it's going to be in Kauai. Or it's going to be in Peru. I don't know. Circumstances will tell me. And who knows what this political drama is going to bring us. Who knows what's going to be changed in the world so I honestly don't know, um, but I'm going to keep on standing, not in fear and guilt and shame, but I'm going to stand in love, pro-life, pro-earth, pro-humans, live in joy, live in grace. And uh, thank you guys for joining this live. Much respect to all of your spiritual journey. Um, this has been a great blessing to share this time with you guys. And you see, I don't need to smoke to teach. And I don't do that. I only do it because if not only heals my pain when I ha don't have my, you know, butt issue, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> hemorrhoid. Um, that's mostly why I use it, but, but uh, I haven't needed it today. And I don't need it because I, I found a way to either stand up until it's gone, till it goes away. Like it takes a few hours to go away or if I'm like this. And my, this is a recliner. This is just a red blankie or a red wool blanket. It's a leather blue chair or leather black chair. And it can recline. So I can recline and sometimes I put my legs up so I don't feel pain. But so I have a way around it. And I also told you that this wand, if it's really bad, I didn't know it, but this wand will make them shrink down. The swollen vein is, hey, a lot of, a lot of people have this suffering. This will take care of about those. I might as well end it with this. This is not a sponsor, but this is something that I sell. And it's called the Terahertz wand. It's not what you think. Come on. It's, a, it's like a hair dryer, but not. There's a crystal tube in here. This is actual. There's a crystal tube right here. It's terahertz frequency. It's for healing. And man, it helped my healing with my lymphatic system. It didn't make it go away, but it makes the problems the pain or irritation or not irritation discomfort go away and i you know if i have i'm always using my hands and a lot of people have fibromyalgia or my grandma had a real bad this arthritis i wish this was around when she was around but anyways this will help that man it'll go away literally no joke and your butt <laughs> You don't have to do it from behind, you, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever pains, whatever sufferings, uh, terahertz, terahertz goes through the body, like up to a foot long, far. And it, it's hot, but there's three different settings. So you can put it on low, medium, or high. Put it, do it on your chakras. Dry, throat, heart, solar plexus, crown, terahertz your water and drink that. So, uh, there's a link down below, you guys. It's $380, but it's freaking worth it. I would rather do that than go to a doctor for anything. I will never go to a doctor. I won't say never because maybe if there's a car accident, but uh, you know, we don't put that intention out there. But you know, there is no medicine in hospitals. Sorry. My friend Kathy is not going to find a healing in there. They're going to push. What's that? That radiation they do. Chemo. She's, they're going to push chemo on her. They're going to put her in fear while she's stuck at the hospital. 
uh, my family choose that route. They choose pharmaceuticals and doctors and drugs instead of silence, connecting to your inner Christ, connecting and, and regenerating your chakras. What you will. Thank you guys for being here tonight. Bless you. I'll see you on Monday. Or no, Tuesday. There's a drum circle on Monday. I might go, but might not. Um, I really want the big weekend. Uh, that one's something about n new moon. I don't... I don't... If they're, they're covering new moon, I'm not when I go there. You guys. Moon? Anything about the moon is freaking bad... Uh, wicked, dark shit cult. I'm going there to some spiritual people who aren't awakened to that yet. And that's okay. Okay? I love you. Peace to all of you. Send out love and unity into the world. Heal yourself. Love yourself. Bless you. Bless you, guardians. You are the guardians. You are holy ones. You are blessed. You're protected. Own light. Live up to light. Hold light. Peace. Namaste. We should say this together. There's a... Let me do this together. I feel like I'm being called to do it. Um shaddai ure akumtun. Um shaddai ure akumtun. So let me open it. It's in my members area. But I want to share it with all of you tonight. Um shaddai ure akumtun. So let me find it first because it's on PDF. And then I will go to files. Go to members, Christos. Oh, where, where is Um Shaddai Ure Akumtun? Here it is. I found it! <laughs> yes, baby! It makes me excited to be able to share this stuff with you. That's a sacred symbol, by the way. Oop. Sacred symbol called the Akasha. Uh, instead of the moon, instead of occult symbols, instead of the Eye of Horus, Hello, homies. Why don't you uh, bring out the uh, diagrams and pictures and images of an actual positive thing, not the tree, not the tree of life, Kabbalah, not the tree, the uh, flower of death from Drumbalo. No vatos. So we're gonna say this together, and it's explained. It's coming from the Song of Orion. Wait, I'm trying to zoom in. Okay. Um sha dai ure. We say it together. And you can say this all day long, as long as you want. And there's a, there is a link I put of professional people singing it. I'm not a professional singer, but we can say this together. I don't know where the hand symbol is. Where's, where's the hand symbol? I don't know where the hand symbol is. But anyways, you can see it, right? Um shadai ure akuntun Um shadai ure akuntun Um shadai ure What? <laughs> Um shadai ure akuntun And you can lower your voice or go up a bit Um shadai ure akuntun 
Um, should I, if I had my earplugs in, I can do it better. I don't have my earplugs. Um, should I would a Um, should I would a And let's say I am Christ star together. I am Christ star. I am Christ star. I am Christ star. See it, know it, and believe it in your heart and your soul. Know that you're a part of the Christ consciousness, the unity consciousness. Christ star, the Merkaba, the 12th dimensional Merkaba is pure white. So see a pure white star when you say, I am Christ star. And let's say it, this with me three times. And then we'll finish. We'll leave. <laughs> I am God. I am sovereign. I am free. I am God. I am sovereign. I am free. I am God. I am sovereign. I am free. Know it. Believe it. Peace to all of you. Grace. Blessings. Namaste, holy ones. Good night, sweetheart.